Yeah, well, this is the place where complete strangers gave each other support, even became friends after having gone through this extremely traumatic situation. Many of them told us uh, that they were numb, that they really felt like the reality of the situation had not fully sunk in yet. They were very excited to be on this first inaugural run and could not believe how terribly it all went wrong. This is Anthony Raimondi. Notice his Amtrak jacket. He says he worked as a ticket agent for the company over 17 years and rode the train's inaugural run for fun today, hoping to be part of history, but not like this. One guy pushed out the window and I helped him get down and he helped me get down and we crawled underneath the train and I could hear people screaming and stuff in the other parts. So, and then by that time, ambulances and stuff were coming. Strangers became fast friends, like Patricia Freeman helped out of the train by Scott Claggett. I heard the sound first and then felt instability. And uh, I thought, we derailed. We derailed. We came off the rails, I could tell. Freeman was visiting family on Bainbridge Island, happy to stay an extra day thanks to a fast train. Claggett recently moved to Seattle to be closer to his software client so he could fly less and take trains more. I felt, you know, we started to kind of lean and your body naturally understands that this isn't normal. And then when glass and shatter and people are flying, you know, you're like, oh my God, this is real. Real, but many of the passengers are still in shock, like Emma Schaefer, a student in Seattle, returning home for the holidays. It was crazy. It kind of felt like just like the end of the world, like you'd just come out of like, I don't know, like a nuclear bunker and you're just like standing amongst all this wreckage. And Governor Inslee did stop by here earlier today to meet with those passengers. You can see the lights here at DuPont City Hall are still on, and that's because volunteers and the Red Cross, they have been bringing food and water for the passengers and for first responders all day. And folks have told us that that, that community support has really made this very terrible day just a little bit easier to deal with. We're live in DuPont. I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.